Welcome back to my channel. I'm now recording video properly now, Pro proper video, proper editing it and get it out there for you rather than trying to do these live streams. I will be doing live streams once per month for you guys so you can actually ask all sorts of questions. You're welcome to come on board. I will advertise that um, weeks before I do it so you get plenty of opportunity to know when it's going to go live as well. And the reason why I haven't been doing so much videos because I haven't had a permanent setup, so now I've got my rig all set up as I want it to, so I'll do another video to show you my rig setup that stays permanently fixed on my bench that I can just push two buttons and record video, which is really nice for me as well. And obviously, the, the, today we're going to be talking about an outdoor uh, wireless long range bridge, um, which I, I had for a while since Christmas, so I do apologise to the company. So the details of what, the, what it's called is on the screen here. I don't want to pronounce the um, brand wrong. Don't even try to pronounce it. It's just I can't pronounce it anyway. So that's what's what it's called. Um, so these are two boxes in question. They are they are wireless bridges. So don't treat them as wireless access points because they're not. And they're for joining two buildings together, two offices, whether it's a house or uh, a man cave shed, uh, bottom of the garden. This is great solution for that as well. It's standard 5.8 gigahertz, which is standard most stuff these days now as well. And it's got a maximum three kilometer range. So you can go beyond the garden as well. So it's great for office offices. It's got to be line of sight. So you can't have things between it because it'll cause issues or connection issues. It'll just make things slow down. So as long as you've got line of sight, this is perfect condition for that. And it's quite straightforward. So this is going to be um, one video, three videos I'll be creating on this. So today's very much showing the product. Um, the second one will be very much setting up um, two um, two poles in the back in my, in my front room, connecting them together and setting up the software and showing you how the configuration works. And how and, and I'll, I'll do a very basic configuration for what I'll be using it for to give you an idea um, how easy it is as well. Uh, and, the set, and the third video will be very much, I'll be setting this up uh, at a house and it'll be connecting the house to an actual shed itself over quite a short distance. It's not gonna be a kilometer long uh, it's literally at the bottom of the garden somewhere. So, and that way um, we can then test this on speed and things like that as well. And we can probably uh, move this a, f a fair bit. I might even, if I've got um, enough um, power, portable power, then I might try this over a field distance as well. We could do some tests either end on that as well. But that'd be after, that'd be probably a future video anyway, to really robust and test how far things will go. But for the moment, very much uh, showing what, what it is, uh, installing it into a house and a shed, showing that sort of type of scenario, because that's quite a common question I get people asking me as well. And I'll try and cover some details on this as well. But for, for much of the product, it's very much two lightweight boxes that you can mount on the wall or drain pipe or a pole. Uh, I would definitely recommend installing these quite high so you avoid um, people going past it, so it's out, out, of, out of the way. It needs to be line of sight, permanently connected like that somewhere up quite nice and high itself as well um, and yeah that's straightforward that's where you get to get the two boxes you get a power supply for each end which is PoE inject injectors uh, on the side here um, it doesn't come with cable because obviously they won't know um, what type of cable you need because if you're going to be storing this on the outside you need to run cables on the inside so um, these will not be installed on a wireless outside plug socket because these are not rated to be waterproof. So these are very much indoors. So you'll run the cables from indoors to outdoors to your solution. So you may have to be drilling some holes in your wall to get the cables through through there as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in a third video when we actually do the install itself. Um, confusing, confusing bit I'd like to actually tell you about. It's got two LAN ports. The second LAN port is where you put the PO injector in that provides the power to it. The second one doesn't actually show on the instruction book it been used. I don't know why. Um, so it might be a question I might have to ask the manufacturer for that one. Why is the second one on there? What can it be used for? And why don't you show it on your manual? Because I've gone through the manual instructions. It comes with a nice little colour booklet and it's very colourful. Lots of pictures to illustrate how it works uh, on both sides and the different scenarios you can use it for. But every picture on here I'm looking at and on the back one as well, it doesn't show you the first LAN port being used. It just shows you going from your PoE plug socket to the LAN port on the, on the bridge 
and then on the LAN port on the on the PoE um, power socket goes to a device or your switch or the internet on one side and on the other side um, again it goes to LAN port 2 to PoE and then from there to a device um, but it never shows you the second one on there which is a bit confusing but I will find out more details so for the next video I'll be able to explain why they don't show that and why it's there basically so um, yeah so that's that's basically what you get is those two plugs in the box that is it oh yeah it do gives you to um, wrap around you, you ju jubilee kits basically so if you're not using cable ties or screws you can use these jubilee kits around a drain pipe or a pole so it's great and if you're actually this is another scenario i don't talk about if you're a builder and you're on a building site and you're on, and you've got two offices either side of the site so in, install two very tall poles so again nothing can interfere with them and you can keep your little offices up and stuff like that which is great for or you could be very cheekily and say, rather than have internet installed at, at your place of work, at a building site, for instance, because obviously you're going to have to get um, asked for permission to get something temporary put up there from a telecoms company, you can actually ask a neighbour, do you mind if I install that temporary in your garden across to my building site so we can just get temporary internet while we're there and we'll pay a small cost towards it? A tip you can probably use. There you go. So what do we get actually on this on these boxes, not a lot actually. LED light at the bottom there for, I assume it's um, the channel numbers. You've got a reset switch and a power cable switch, which you don't get a power cable, it's PoE. Um, and it's got on the back of it, you've got some little bit of instructions on here. 5.8 gigahertz, speed 300 megabits, and it all gives you the land address IP, what, it's, what it is standard, so we'll do that anyway. Uh, and on the side here, you've got your, obviously your LEDs for signal strength lights obviously it's very much you need to make sure it's line of sight get it really nice and accurately to make sure you've got full um bars on there to show it's a strong signal between point a and point b which is great so we'll see how accurate these are and what how sensitive they can be whether it's a straightforward like point at each other does it work or do we have to really sort of slowly move it to each other till it creates a nice fast link second a third video will show that anyway on that side here so um 300 megabit speed, 5.8 uh, 8 gigahertz, maximum range three, three kilometers um, in open space, and transmission distances, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go through all the spec because there's tons of specs on here um, to do with, um, oh, uh, it covers a lot of standard stuff as well. We've covered that on the second video anyway when we do the install uh, or the actual software setup as well. Uh, 24 volts by PoE power supply, Easy to install, um, deploy, and simply con uh, construction safe and rel rel reliability. And for seventy pound from Amazon, isn't too bad for a very cheap solution like this. And if it works quite well, then we'll put this, we're going to put this to test. Because as I said, uh, when we do the shed install and the house install, the guy in the shed will be using Netflix and doing web surfing and YouTubing and things like that. So we'll see how robust these are for seventy pound from Amazon. So yeah. So again, all the teeth all the details about this product will be in the description below where you can purchase from it will be in the description below for you as well so thanks for watching guys if you like this video thumbs up don't like this video thumbs down don't forget hit that hit that subscribe button down there for me the notification button as well and i'll see up the top here which will be that side will be all my latest videos you can now go and have a look at and don't forget i'm on patreon page now so if you like what i do and want to support what i do because i don't get a lot of funding for this and then go onto my Patreon page with the details on the screen here for you. So go here, su um, support me, pick a package, uh, and uh, that'd be great. And I'll be able to do more reviews uh, on products like this and more. I seem to be getting quite a lot of these wi Wi-Fi boxes to look at and stuff. So if there's any questions you'd like to know on wi wireless, please leave a comment below here and um, we'll answer them. And I may do an actual uh, FAQ um, live stream very soon talking about Wi-Fi and PC and all those sort of nice related stuff as well for you guys to come on board and have a chat with us as well. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Again, this is one of three videos. So uh, hopefully I'll get the next video done for a week later. And then a week later after that, we'll have it installed depending on weather as well in the UK here itself. But so far it seems to be quite nice and sunny so far. And we are slowly coming out of lockdown, which is quite nice. But I get out, stretch a little bit, and I may be able to make some more fun videos with other people very soon. So see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.